let's go over how to upgrade the firmware on the T1 Tomahawk. To start, we're going to put the battery in the T1 Tomahawk to power it on. Once the battery in the T1 Tomahawk is powered up, in the Rock Mobile app, which is available in both iOS and Android, we're going to navigate down to the bottom menu and select the Tools icon. From here, we're going to select Search for New Tools, at which time our T1 Tomahawk will appear. If you don't see the T1 here, be sure to check your Bluetooth settings to ensure that the app has permission to use your Bluetooth connection. Once here, I'm going to select the T1 Tomahawk that we're trying to connect to. It'll appear on the top menu, and you'll notice if the latest firmware is not installed, you'll see a little red icon here. So I'm going to click this to go to the detail page, and from here, you can see the red banner indicating that I don't have the latest firmware. Selecting here will take me to the upgrade page, and on the top portion it'll say the latest firmware that it'll upgrade to along with some other warnings. Generally this process takes anywhere from two to four minutes and is completed rather quickly, but be sure not to move your T1 or phone throughout the process. So to get things kicked off, I'm going to click the start update button and allow the process to download the firmware and transfer it over to the T1. Once the update is complete, the phone will indicate that the update has completed and the T1 will take an additional 30 seconds to a minute to finish installing all the updates on it. So on the phone, I'm going to click finish here. Go back over here and it'll take a refresh of the T1 itself before it can be reconnected to it. So give it a couple seconds here, at which time the T1 itself will complete. This will go into the blade setup mode and we'll be able to reconnect to it over here. Once the T1 is finished, you'll see the blade setup screen, which is covered in another video on the T1 itself. And over here on the T1, we can go ahead and reconnect to it to confirm that the new firmware has been installed successfully. Once we see the T1 reappear on this screen, we go ahead and click it. It'll come back up to our connected tools menu, and we can confirm now that we have the latest firmware 0.4.8 and that everything is installed correctly. Note that the latest firmware version will always be linked on our website and included in the description below. 